Hello, today we're going to be solving equations with variables on both sides. So here's our first question. What I want you to do first is to draw a line on the equal sign because I want to separate my left side from my right side. I, li I like to keep things really organized. Um, so notice this is a little different because I have two variables and remember my, I, my goal is to have one variable on the left side. So what I like to do is I always like to move the right side. I like to move the right side. Okay? Siempre mueve la, 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 el X que es en la derecha primero. So always move the, the X on the right first. So this is a positive 2X. The opposite is minus, so minus 2x. I'm going to go ahead and copy this on the left side. I'm going to put this on the left with the x. Okay, so 9 minus 2x, just like that. 9 minus 2 is 7x. Here there's nothing, so we're going to go ahead and copy that down. Minus 2 equals 2 minus 2 is 0. That cancels and we're going to copy down 12. So now my goal is to get the letter alone. I want the variable alone. So I'm going to circle the letter. Where is my letter? My letter is on the left side. Okay, so two numbers are on the left side. I have a 7 and I have a negative 2. Let's look at the number that is touching the letter. The number touching the letter is 7. What's in the middle? Nothing. That means it's multiplication. And this is a minus. What do you do first? Multiply or minus? Well, let me just remind you. First, you always do your plus or minus. Second, you do your multiply or divide. So first is going to be my minus. The opposite of minus is plus. So plus 2. Copy to the other side, plus 2. Copy down 7x. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. That cancels. Equals 12 plus 2, 14. Now remember my goal is to get the letter alone. I want that x alone. Where is x? x is on the left. What number is with x on the left? 7. What's in the middle? Nothing. Multiplication. The opposite of multiplication, division. So I'm going to divide by 7, and then here divide by 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1, so that can cancel. Copy x equals 14 divided by 7 is 2. So there's my answer. Now we're going to check it with the calculator, okay? So I have my calculator here, my TI Inspire. First you're going to push on, okay? And I want new document, number one, so I'm going to push one. And I like, just always push no, so go to the right, push enter here, no. I want to check it with a graph. Graph is number two, so you're going to get a graph like this. Okay, on the left side, uh, I mean, first, what, what equation I'm going to put is the left side. I'm going to put 9x minus 2. So 9x minus 2. Like this. Enter. Okay. Now I need, the sec I need to put another equation. I need to put 2x plus 2. So to do that, you're going to push tab, which is right here. And you're going to put 2x plus 12. 2x plus 12. Enter. Okay? I have two equations. Now, my answer is where they touch. Mi respuesta es donde las líneas toca. Tocando. Okay? So, I'm going to need to zoom out. Necesito arreglar. Okay? To see everything. Para ver todo. So, you're going to push menu. Zoom is the number four. Es el número cuatro. Zoom, alejar. Four. And I want zoom out. Quiero zoom afuera, alejar, which is the number four. So you're going to push four again. OK. 
okay, and enter. Okay, and I can't see where they touch. No puedo ver donde tocando, so I'm going to push enter again. Enter otra vez. Okay, that's better. It's mejor. Looks like it's right here. Now, my answer is where they touch. Mi respuesta es donde las líneas toca. So, I'm going to go ahead and find that. The name of where they touch is intersect or intersection. El nombre que donde las líneas toca es intersect or intersection. So, you're going to push menu. Okay, and I want to analyze the graph. So the number six is el seis, number six. And intersection is right here, number four. So push four. And here, if you go like this, it moves your, your mouse. So I'm going to move it to the left, a la izquierda of the touch, a la izquierda del, del toca. Enter. So push the center. And then you're going to go to the right of the touch, a la derecha del toca, and then push the center, el botón centro. And I have my answer 216. My answer is always going to be the first one. Mi respuesta es la primera, which is 2. It's the same. Es, el, es igual. 2. So this is correct. Está bien. Okay, let's try another one. Well, actually, let's also check it, uh, you know, let's go ahead and check it by hand. To check this by hand, another way to check, un otro método para checar, you copy the question, copiar la pregunta, so 9x minus 2 equals 2x plus 12. It's right here, está aquí. Okay. And what you do is where there's an X, where's the, where there's the letter, you change the letter to the number. Solo cambia los, las letras, okay? So 9, copy, no X, put 2, 2, in parenthesis. And then copy, minus 2, equals, copy 2. No X, no X, this 2, esta 2, in parenthesis, copy plus 12. Now, in the calculator, ahora en la calculadora, you're going to put the left side, and then after y después, you're going to put the right side. Okay. So, what you're going to do is push on again. I want new document. So, number one, uno. No. I want calculator. Quiero calculadora. So, number one. You're going to put nine, parenthesis, two, parenthesis, minus two. So, nine parenthesis, two, parenthesis, minus two. Enter. Looks like it's 16. So I'm going to put 16. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to put this one in the calculator. So two, parenthesis, two, Parenthesis plus 12. Enter. 16. Are they equal? Son iguales? Yes. Sí. So, entonces, I know that this is correct. This is my answer. Es mi respuesta. 2. X equals 2. Okay, let's try another one. Make sure that you copied everything down, okay? Make sure you, you can rewind if you need to. All right, next one. Let's do 2A. Oops, let me write it again real small. 2A minus 11 equals negative 8A plus 19. Okay, start with your line on the equal sign. We need to move a letter. Always move the one on the right. We are moving the one on the right. This is negative 8a. The opposite of negative is positive. So plus 8a. Copy to the other side. Put it with the a. Plus 8a. 2 plus 8 is 10a. Copy. 
minus 11 equals negative 8 plus 8 cancels. It's 0. Copy down 19. Okay, my goal is I want A alone. Where is A? A is on the left, so I need to move the two numbers on the left, which are 10, 10 and negative 11. So let's see what's in the middle here. In the middle, nothing, multiply, and this one is positive or negative, negative. Which one first? Times or minus? Minus. The opposite, contrario, plus 11. Copy. Plus 11. Copy down. 10A. Negative 11 plus 11. 0. Cancel. Equals 19 plus 11. Is, let's check that in the calculator. I think it's 30. So let's see. 19 plus 11. Enter. 30. Okay, make sure you can use your calculator. I want you to use the calculator with me. Okay, now I want A alone. A is on the left. 10 is also on the left. Nothing in the middle is multiply. The opposite is divide by 10. Copy, divide 10. 10 divided by 10, 1. Cancel, copy A equals 30 divided by 10 is 3. Let's do a check. This will be our last check here. Okay, copy the question for the check. So I have 2a minus 11, so 2a minus 11 equals negative 8a plus 19. Okay, so where I see the a, I'm going to put 3 in parentheses. So copy 2, no a. Parenthesis 3, parenthesis, copy, minus 11, equals, copy, negative 8, no A, parenthesis 3, parenthesis, copy, plus 19. Let's put the left in the calculator and after the right. So 2 times 3 minus 11, so 2, parenthesis 3, parenthesis, minus 11, so minus 11, enter, I got negative 5 equals, let's put this in the calculator, negative 8, parenthesis 3, parenthesis plus 19, enter, again negative 5. Are they equal? Son iguales? Yes, sí. So, I'm 100%, estoy 100% that this is correct, está bien. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, let's try negative y minus 22 equals y minus 16. Put your line. All right, which y do I move? The right, always move the right, siempre la derecha. This is positive y, the opposite is negative. So minus y, copy, minus y. Okay, now let's put a, if there's no number in front, si no hay numero en frente, it's one, es uno. So let's put our ones. Okay, negative one minus one. Let's put that in the calculator. Negative one, negativo uno, minus one, menos uno. Negative 2, copy negative 2y, copy down, because there's nothing here, no hay nada aquí, so copy, minus 22 equals 1 minus 1, 1 menos 1 is 0, cancel, copy, negative 16. Now, I want y alone, y is on the left, what numbers are on the left? Negative 2 and negative 22. In the middle here, it's nothing, so multiply, and this one is minus. Okay, which one first? Multiply or minus? Minus. The opposite of minus is plus, so plus 22. Copy plus 22. Okay, here there's nothing, no hay nada, so copy, entonces copy. Negative 22 plus 22, zero. 
cancel. Negative 16 plus 22, let's put that in the calculator. Negative 16 plus 22, enter. 6. Mm-hmm. Now I want y alone. What number with y? ¿Cuál número con y? Negative 2. In the middle, nothing, nada, multiplication. The opposite, divide by negative 2. Divide, negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. Es uno, cancel. Copy y equals. 6 divided by negative 2. 6 entre negativo 2. Let's see. 6 divided by negative 2. Enter. Negative 3. And there's our answer. If you want, take this time to pause and do a check. Let's do another one. Okay, so th these are going to get a little more difficult. Okay, so negative y minus 8 plus 6y equals negative 9 plus 5y plus 1. Ooh, it's a big one. Okay, first what you need to do is if you have three things here, you need to do the like terms. And remember, like terms means they have the same letter and exponent. So here I have y, and here I have y. So y, no exponent, y, no exponent. These are the same. So I can go ahead and combine these. What number is in front if there's no number? 1. So we're going to put in the calculator negative 1 plus 6 negative 1 plus 6, oops, I did a mistake, negative 1 plus 6, enter. 5, 5, copy the letter y. This one is different, this number is different, there's no y, so we're just going to copy down, minus 8 equals. Here I also have three things, here no letter, y, no letter. These are the same. No letter, no letter, it's the same. So negative 9 plus 1 in the calculator, negative 9 plus 1, enter, negative 8, copy, plus 5y. This one's different because it has y. Okay. I have two y's. I need to move the one on the right. This is positive. The opposite of positive is negative. So minus 5y, copy minus 5y, 5 minus 5, 0, cancel, copy, negative 8, equals, copy, negative 8, 5 minus 5 is also 0, cancel, uh-oh, no more letters, no más letras, I cannot do any more, no, no puedo hacer más, Okay, so we need to stop here. Necesitamos parar aquí, but I need to check if this is true or false. Pero necesito checar si este es verdad o falso. So negative 8 equals negative 8. Negativo 8 es igual que negativo 8. Is that true or false? Es verdad o falso? Falso. It's true. Verdad. If it's true, Si es verdad, my answer is all real numbers. Si es verdad, mi respuesta es all real numbers, todos números. So this is my answer. Okay? And I cannot do a check. Y no puedo hacer un check. Okay, let's do another one. 4 times 2x minus 3 equals 3 plus 8x minus 11. Put your line on the equal sign. If Okay, parenthesis is always first, so we're going to do our parenthesis. I have two parts inside of the parenthesis. Tengo dos partes dentro de los parenthesis. And I need to give this 4 to both parts. Necesito dar este 4 para ambos partes. Ok? 
Okay, so I'm going to give 4 to 2x. Voy a dar 4 a 2x. And again, give 4 to negative 3. Y otra vez, dar el 4 para el negativo 3. Okay, so we're going to do 4, parenthesis, 2x. Always put a plus in the middle, siempre más en el medio. And then again, otra vez, 4, parenthesis, negative 3, parenthesis, equals. Now we're going to do 4 times 2, and then after 4 times negative 3. 4 times 2, let's put in the calculator, 4, parenthesis, 2, parenthesis, no x in there, enter. 4 times 2 is 8, 8, copy x. Now put in the calculator 4 times negative 3, so 4, parenthesis, negative 3, parenthesis, enter, negative 12. So we're going to put minus 12 equals. So this is good. Now we're going to do this one. Here I have three things. Tengo tres cosas, three terms. And let's see, no letter X, no letter. So my like terms are three, no letter, and negative 11, no letter. So no letter, no letter, it's the same. So three minus eight, three minus eight. Sorry, 3 minus 11, I'm sorry, 3 minus 11 is negative 8. And then copy plus 8x. And then we can copy this again, negative 8 plus 8x. Okay, I have two x's. I'm going to move the one on the right first. So this is positive 8x, the opposite is minus 8x. Copy, minus 8x. Okay. 8 minus 8, 0, cancel, copy, negative 12 equals, here nothing, copy, 8 minus 8, 0, cancel, no more letters, so I need to stop, but let's check if it's true or false, okay, so let's see, negative 12 equals negative 8, is that true or false? False. Negative 12 is not equal to negative 8. Negativo 12 no está igual que negativo 8. So this is false. Falso. If it's false, si es falso, the answer is no solution. No hay solución. There's your answer. And you cannot do a check. Y no puede, no puede hacer un check. Okay? So thank you for watching uh, with Miss Bay Ruthie. If you have any questions, please watch more videos or rewind and watch this video again. Thank you and have a nice day.